Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mythical back again for another really quick, easy tutorial on how to convert audio into MIDI. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. If you would like to stay up to date with more Logic Pro 10 tips and tricks, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date. Okay, let's get going. So I wrote this little synth lead before recording the video today, and this is the sample that we're going to convert into MIDI. So let's just go ahead and play it to hear what we're working with. Cool. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to want to do is go to our Flex Editor button and turn that on and make sure we are on Flex Pitch. Okay. Now, when we go down to our editor window down here, we're also going to want to make sure that we have this Flex Editor on as well. And you'll see automatically that um, the MIDI data populates there as well. So this is the MIDI data, MIDI data that we're going to convert um, into an instrument region. So we're going to go to Edit, drop down all the way to Create MIDI Track from Flex Pitch Data. And the default instrument is always this classic electric piano that Logic creates for the MIDI data. Um, so you'll see that it's already created the melody. So let's play this real quick and compare it to the original audio sample. As you can see, Logic did a really good job with analyzing the MIDI data and the melody is really close, but since we had some delay and reverb on the original audio track, this is what kind of threw off the um, pitch analysis. So we are going to delete the ones that are green and these little purple ones because these are the artifacts that uh, the pitch data picked up. So let's go ahead and play that again. Well, there you have it. This is a really easy way to not only find the key of the song or the sample that you're working with, but maybe to see how the melody was written, change the melody, layer it with something else, um, make it your own sound. And that's kind of what um, I use this function for in my productions all the time. So you just want to make sure you keep in mind that this particular function is really good on monophonic signals like bass your synth leads and unison vocals and you'll be good to go but your time-based effects like delay and reverb will affect the accuracy of the MIDI data so yeah if you like the video give that thumbs up and if you dislike it hit that dislike button otherwise I'll see you next time